guys, I'm here today to do um, my Romance Opoly Part 2 video. Um, I'm going to briefly mention what I rolled and what I read um, for each challenge that I did in the previous, and then I'm going to roll six more times. And yeah, so um, the first challenge I had was the dungeon, which is to read a... Um, a ex-con or someone in prison and for that I re read um, 15 years to life by um, by Rachel uh, Regina Bartley and I gave that, that three out of five stars and then the second roll I did was a library's choice which was um, until the sun falls from the sky by Kristen Ashley which is book one in the three series I gave that three out of five stars this second our third row was magic row which was to read a famous uh, a magic book yeah read a pen a paranormal where the hero or heroine can weird magic and I read the unleashing by Shelley um, Lawrenceton, which I gave, sorry, three stars, and that was book one in the Calls of Raven series or something, Calls of Crows, and then the fourth challenge was Far Away Land, which is to read a fantasy or a fantasy novel from a far away Oh yeah, no, just a, read a fantasy romance or fantasy novel, and for that I picked Wild and Free, which is book three in the um, three series by Kristen Ashley. Then the last, last, no, second to last one, I picked um, Alien Adventures, or Alien Avenue, which I read Distant Desires which I just finished. This was the last book I just finished. Um, and I will talk about this one in the weekly wrap-up um, this week. But I gave this four out of five stars um, and enjoyed it by Cambria Herbert. Distant Desires by Cambria Herbert. And then the last spin, number six, was um, Downtown Subway, which was to read a... Um, Rockstar Romance, and for that one I read Wild Flame by Macaulay Smotzer, and that is book two in the Wild series. I gave that five out of five stars, really enjoyed it, and I also did the Mystery Challenge, which is um, Faded Mates, and for that I read With Everything I Am by Kristen Ashley, and that was book two in the three series. So those are the books I read for those challenges and what I thought of them. And now, as I said, I am going to roll another six. I have my board, and I also have my dice. You can't see it, but it's there. Let me... When I... Turn down the brightness. See if that works. Okay, can you see? Not really. You just can't really see. Sorry about that. What about now? You can see a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to roll. Okay, the first roll I got is 10. So we are going to start at the subway downtown. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is Freedom Ferris, which I have all of the little cards for it. Let's do... Oh, these are... Oh, no. It is... Read an adult LGBT romance, and for one of the ideas I have is Cut and Run, which is a romance package on audio. So, 
or if you know any other adult MM or FF, no, it's, or any LGBT um, adult romances, let me know. Um, I'll be more than happy to read that. So that is, let me get, I'm really not prepared, sorry. And that is one. Roll again. I got 12. So we were on one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, if I, I feel like if I've done it, I should, I might change, sorry. I feel like if I did it, I should skip it and go to the next one. So we were here, so it was 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is Bad Boy Circuit. Okay, so the, my first one is actually read a contemporary ram romance with a bad bo boy her hero or bad gal heroine. So that's going to be my number one. Sorry. I think that makes the most sense. And then I got 12. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is London Street. Which is, is read a steampunk romance or steampunk novel. Okay, if you know any of those, let me know because I have none listed on here. So, let me know. Okay, and now I need to roll again. So, it got eight. So we were here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, is another library. Okay. So I got seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is the bus. Sorry. And the bus is somewhere. the bus one is. You would think I would know. It's just read a book where the character has to go on a journey which involves travel is what it says. Oh, it's right here. There. And so that was number four. And I have two more. Roll again. I got six. So we were at bus. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is erotic eats, eats, which is five, I said, yeah. Which is to read a smoking hot erotic co contemporary novel, which is right up my alley, so I'm okay with that one. And then my last roll is eight. So after that one, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is taxi which I have right here. It is read one of um, under the covers or piece of books recommendation, uh, reads, list, any genre. Okay. Okay. 
So I have all of those done. So uh, this round I am going to read from Library, The Bus, Bad Boy Circuit, Erotic Eves, um, Taxi, and uh, what was the other one? That was this one. And London Street, a steampunk novel. So, as I said, if you know any um, steampunk novels or any, you could actually recommend any of them. I'll look at them. And yeah, sorry this video is long and sorry it was all over the place. Um, but I figured after I finish each round of the six I do, um, I will do a recap of what I read and then pick another six. Um, I feel like six is good for me, a starting point, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.